Ben. This is Brianna. Hey, Brianna. How's it going? I'm pretty good. The only thing I got to say when it comes to quick and comment on James Comey is that this was just basically a fucking stupid move by Donald Trump and his administration just to fire him right now. Yep. Because now it's because you're going to fire the guy. And I'm not saying, you know, Trump has, you know, all Trump, you know, him and Putin collided during the, the general election. I'm trying to say, like, you're firing the guy who was supposed to be the leading guy mm-hmm. in the investigation between between your campaign and Russia and makes it look like you're hiding something. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It, makes, it makes it look like you're hiding something. And if you want to get rid of them, why didn't you do it during the transition when you were coming into the White House during the beginning of January? Yeah, yeah. You know, especially with that, the... You know, that been a lot more... Yeah, especially with the justifications. Thanks so much for the call, Brianna. Especially with the justifications that they're using at this point. I mean, I can't agree with you more. Um, this is, this is, this is, I won't say it's political suicide because Donald Trump probably is going to survive this. I don't see an impeachment in his future. Um, and I've been wrong before. So I have no problem being wrong on that if he is impeached. Uh, but it's as close to political suicide as uh, a president should get. This is a self-inflicted wound. This is, this is a very unnecessary self-inflicted wound that, um, that he could have easily avoided uh, if his justifications were valid. Even if it didn't happen during the transition, after the confirmation of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, before Jeff Sessions himself got in trouble uh, speaking incorrectly, lying under oath, um, had they done this before then, then it would be less suspicious. But now this is happening after Comey testified uh, before Congress. I, I just don't see, I don't see how you can look at this and say that this was a wise political move. And the only re- the, you know, for me to game this out, the only rational explanation of this is that Donald Trump is so vindictive that he is, he's irrational. And that is not just not, not just me trying to psychoanalyze Donald Trump just for shits and giggles. This is somebody who will make a major decision to his own personal detriment because of a vendetta. What do you think he's going to do when it doesn't involve his own personal benefit? 